Okay, so I just woke up and looked at my phone and yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but I was too excited because I was at like 79,994 last night. I looked at my phone and I hit 80K. I'm like freaking out. I mean, it's all, it's all for Jesus. You guys, praise God, thank you. I'm here in Bedford, New York. It's a gorgeous fall day. You can literally see the leaves falling off the tree uh, you know, hundreds at a time. Look at that little birdie. Oh, oh, peekaboo, peekaboo. I see you. Oh, peekaboo, peekaboo. Guys, this is my dear friend Coco. She lives with my friend Laureen. Coco! Oh God, Coco. Look, you even say Coco on your apron. Ay, yay, 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 yay. la vida loca. Do you think Ricky Martin's gorgeous? I love him. You do? I don't care where he is, but I mean, I love him. You don't care what age he is? I don't care. <laughs> I'm 80, 100. I love him. <laughs> Hi, 80,000. I know. Congratulations. It's crazy. It's crazy. I was just talking about that outside. <clears throat> 80,000 is so amazing to me, especially that you've really built this organically. It's incredible. And then to think Cal Healing has spin off. I can't even express how much Cal Healing has helped my soul. I know, but it you know what's so crazy? Good. You know it's what's so crazy? Good. You were my first subscriber. I, I was the first subscriber. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> it's incredible. I love it. Oh, my so God. So many people get so much out of it, Chai. It's so good. Aww. It's so good. Such a blessing. Mama, I love you. I never could have done it without you. You know that. Ooh, it is brisk out here, you guys. I'm going to take a walk through the woods all by myself. I have been on the road, as you all know. So it's kind of been like seven days without God. I need the fellowship. Seven days without God will make you weak. I did not pack appropriately. This is my friend's hat, my friend's scarf, my friend's jacket. Like literally, I don't know what I was thinking. I know this is crazy. It's October in New York and I brought flip flops, some loose, cool pants I bought in Thailand, little white, cute t-shirts, not one sweater. This person's mailbox is open. I used to steal people's mail when I was a kid. I don't know if anyone has seen that episode. I talked about it. I, I did. It's horrible. That's a felony. We were like four. So I'm in Bedford, New York. I used to live here um, with my husband, Billy. We moved from New York City here to Bedford, but it was just too darn cold you can put a california girl in new york but you can't take the california out of the girl gorgeous pond totally exquisite i'm here for a week i just flew in from new orleans and i have a show in connecticut on thursday billy's flying in today look guys look how pretty it looks like a postcard billy and i kind of had an argument the other day because i just realized i was like bill if you don't come to new york and see me we're not gonna see each other for a month because I have stuff that I need to do after the Connecticut show and I'm not gonna be able to go to Atlanta where he's doing this movie. It's so cool, his brother Daniel's directing um, a movie and it's a faith-based movie. What the heck is this? What is that? Has anybody ever seen a tree like this? It has little orange little berries of some sort that I would eat if I wasn't afraid of dying. Our therapist does not think it's a great idea for us to go more than a month without seeing one another. And I completely 100% agree, but it took a little convincing on my part to get Billy to come. He was just having a temporary moment of insanity and I have to have compassion for that. But he's on a plane and he's on his way and that's all that matters. All right guys, here I am. At Her Majesty's request, Billy B, a.k.a. China's husband, just landed at JFK, and you could feel the energy, man. Only in New York, you see the, the, the Orthodox Jews. Here comes a couple of Orthodox Jewish people heading to the gate right now. Check it out right there. And some more here. And, you know, just the Yankee hats, the crisp air, the fall, just the, the melting pot, the bouillabaisse that is New York. Everybody with their attitude, their swagger, their moxie. It's just so awesome to be back. Just wanted you to know, when I go to Atlanta, I'm working on a film called A Walking Miracle. Get ready for this. My brother Daniel is directing. I am starring with my brother Stephen, 
the boys, the bo they're getting the boys and the band back together again. Gotta see my woman, and uh, I'm on my way. Um, I will say she has a bit of nerve, a bit of nerve. I got up at like five this morning, and I caught an early flight, and I flew to New York, and literally, I had Wi-Fi on the plane, and she was texting me. She said, could you do me a favor? Could you give me a little shout out for my Cal Preach? I'm like, I got on a plane. I woke up at five. I got on a plane early this morning. I'm like flying six hours. I got boogers in my eyes. And the first thing she wants me to do is get off the plane, go to the bath bathroom. I can't even speak. Go to the bathroom, wash my face, slick back my hair, and do a shout out for Cal Preach. Only look my bags. Those are mine. She's cut up. Crazy. I need one thing from you guys, okay? I asked China if I can go to the Yankee game. We're in the LCS versus Houston. We play tonight game one, but on Saturday is game three in the Bronx. All Billy B wants to do is just get a little mustard on his chin up in the Bronx. Convince her to let me go to this game, even if I have to go alone, even if she won't go with me. Yankees in the postseason in the Bronx. You've never, ever experienced anything like this. I've been doing it my whole life, but I haven't been to the stadium or a postseason game since before the pandemic. It's it's in my DNA. It's in, I got to go. Tell the Chai Chai. Give him the sign. Give him the go ahead. Give him the green light. Lots of love. I was proud of myself because I just said, this is important to me. And I'm not comfortable going a whole month without seeing you. If you don't tell someone what you need, you're not gonna get what you need. I felt myself kind of holding onto a grudge, like, ew, why doesn't he wanna come see me? And I was like, Chai, you have to let this go. You gotta forgive, you know, that he was being a little stubborn and digging his heels in about coming. You know, you got a little hurt, okay. You got a little hurt, no biggie. I, I was like, oh, I have to forgive him for that. I just have to forgive him. And then I thought, you know what? I don't have to forgive him, I get to forgive him. I get to forgive him if that's what I choose to do. And I choose to do it. I like that. Humans are valuable. They're gonna let us down. And who do I serve? Who do I serve? I serve Jesus. If I'm not worshiping him, I'm worshiping something. And yesterday I was worshiping anger. I was worshiping holding on to a grudge and a resentment. You guys must think I'm just like so incredibly, incredibly sensitive and that I get down on Billy for everything. And that's actually not true. Now I'm gaining clarity. What works for me and what doesn't work for me. Sometimes we're gonna have to agree to disagree. That's okay too. When I start to get super emotional about something, I need to stop pause and take that moment between stimuli and response. I read that in a book a really long time ago and I've always held on to it. Proverbs eleven twelve says that when pride comes, comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. I am just going to practice the humility thing today. I'm just here to help other people get through this thing called life. Even my own husband who is imperfect. And of course, I am far from perfect. I am God's problem child and we all know that. Setting boundaries, knowing what my boundaries are, being direct about my needs and what I want has always been somewhat challenging for me. And I think especially when it comes to Billy because you know he's very strong willed and he digs his heels in when he wants something. Doesn't really like people telling him otherwise, but I was proud of myself because I just said, this is important to me and I'm not comfortable going a whole month without seeing you, period. Oh, wow, look at that crib. Mm, that is party. Anyway, after our argument, I just felt a little hopeless and not even a little hopeless. I'm going to be honest with you. I felt a lot hopeless and I just felt like, gosh, it's like one step forward, two steps back. When is this going to end? And I thought, who do I serve? I serve the Lord. Obviously, I think it just kind of kicked up this feeling of like, I'm at the bottom of his priority list. So what if you are? You're at the top of God's and that's the darn truth. He's listening to me always. He's interceding for me always. He loves me always. It's hard though, because sometimes you just want that human validation. But I'm the first to admit that I often do not give Jesus his due lordship. I do not. I forget to pray or I choose not to pray. I just decide that I know best and that I have to take control. I have to take the reins because clearly my faith lacks. I lack in faith and I especially lack in faith 
when there's a decision that needs to be made or something needs to get done, something needs to get done. I can't even speak, I'm so cold. Something needs to get done. I just take the reins, you know, and I say, okay, Jesus, I'm gonna take care of this and then I'll, you know, I'll have you back in a few days. This has been a great walk, but now I don't know how I'm gonna get back in. I don't, do I ring a bell? Where's the bell? Oh, gravy. Ah! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to be back. I am freaking freezing. You would think that I'm like, I'm on an episode of I Survived or something. You ready for your close-up, Romy? Oh, look at the schnauzers. <gasps> Romy won't listen to me. Romy, sit. Romy, sit. Oh, hell no. I'm not going to do a trick for free. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe Romy and Pokey should get married because she likes younger men. Yes, she does. A lot younger. <laughs> Well, it doesn't get much cozier than this. Does it, Romy? Hmm? Listen, if you don't believe in God, that's okay. Really, truly, it's okay. Because God believes in you, and you're probably just in the Jesus waiting room. Peace of Christ. Hey, my sweet eternal friends. I look forward each and every Sunday to being with my small community of Holy Spirit activated ladies. Yes, yes, yes. So just come and watch God's miracles unfold as we listen to the powerful testimonies and we pray and we worship and we do short little Bible studies together. California Healing is every Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. PST. And the link to that is in my description. All you have to do is head on over to California Healing tier on my Patreon to join the live session every single Sunday. If you can't make it for the live sessions, the awesome news is that all levels of my Patreon will have access to the recorded sessions of California Healing, which is really great. So I'm so excited to talk with each and every one of you. I love just getting to know you guys on such a personal level. It's so awesome. Listen, we're not a church, but we support the search. Peace of Christ. <laughs>